What's going on Guns N' Roses fans? We got some GNR news for you today. This news actually broke this morning. Uh, so yesterday Ozzy Osbourne and Elton John were revealed to be working on a song together. So uh, Ozzy's wife Sharon Osbourne, who's on the daytime TV show The Talk, was asked about what Ozzy's plans were in 2020. And she revealed that Ozzy and his close personal friend Elton John were going to be working on music together. But it wasn't, um, you know, it wasn't clear whether it's going to appear on his upcoming record Ordinary Man or whether it would be a collaboration further down the road. So it came out today that Ozzy dropped a new song, which is the title track, Ordinary Man, and it features Elton John on the track, as well as Slash, uh, who would previously appeared on another track that was released called Straight to Hell, and then it also features Duff McKagan and Red Hot Chili Peppers drummer Chad Smith. So Duff McKagan and Chad Smith uh, were Ozzy's backing band on this record, and Ozzy said of the new track, it just came together. Slash is a dear friend of mine, as is Elton, and when I was writing Ordinary Man, it reminded me of an old Elton John song, and I said to Sharon, I wonder if he would sing on it. We asked, and lo and behold, he agreed and sings and plays piano on the song. Now, Chad Smith, who was featured on the whole album with Kagan, as well as producer and guitarist Andrew Watt, explained how the group actually went about recruiting Elton John and Slash for the song in a recent episode of SiriusXM's Volume West. So Slash would contribute a guitar solo on the uh, second single Ozzy's release, Straight to Hell, but they also initially wanted him for Ordinary Man because it's more of a melodic song and more Beatles-esque. So producer and guitarist Andrew Watt explained, uh, you know, how the song sounds. He said, it's November rainish, but it's not. It's a good song and Slash plays beautifully on it, Smith enthused. And then we decided, well, it has a piano. Who's a really good piano player? I don't know. Let's get the Rocket Man. So Ozzy's album, The Ordinary Man, will arrive in stores or online on February 21st. And you guys can already pre-order it or pre-save the album. And uh, there's going to be a couple different editions uh, available. There's going to be the standard CD, there's a deluxe CD, there's a black vinyl, a deluxe gatefold, swirl color vinyl, a picture disc, and a digital album. And then any physical copies you guys buy, you'll get a unique code that'll allow the buyer to enter a sweepstakes to win one of over 300 Aussie prizes, including an official Aussie laminate to get into any show in, on, in 2020 on the No More Tour 2 uh, meet and greets with Aussie, as well as a gift certificate to the Aussie Global Store and many other prizes as well. So if you guys want to listen to the track, the link is down below. Turning now to some other Guns N' Roses news. So if you guys follow golf at all, then uh, you've probably heard of Phil Mickelson. Uh, he told a story on Twitter, or he confirmed a, a story on Twitter about him and a Guns N' Roses concert. So there's a guy on Twitter named Rick Fillet, and he was asked by somebody, tell me a story about yourself that sounds like a lie, but it's absolutely true. Now Rick responded, I was in a limo that was stuck in traffic with Phil Mickelson who called his agent to see if we could get a helicopter to evacuate us. So Phil Mickelson responded and he said, Guns N' Roses concert in 1992, true story. Now I wonder which concert that was and it wasn't clear whether that was the traffic going to or from the concert. But uh, yeah, I thought that was kind of, I never thought I'd be talking about Phil Mickelson and Guns N' Roses in the same sentence. So the same website that reported this also did some research of the Use Your Illusion tour dates and they said that Guns N' Roses played Arizona and more specifically Chandler's Compton Terrace in late January of 1992 when Phil Mickelson and his, uh, his wife Amy were in school at Arizona State and it lines up with both his Twitter comment and past stories of when they met. But it's kind of odd too because it says that Phil tried to radio in a chopper while he was technically still a student and an amateur golfer. So I'd like to know more about these this story, but uh, I thought you guys might find that interesting. That does it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Take care.